Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to set up a postback URL with ClickMagic campaigns for ClickBank. Now, I am assuming that you already set up your ClickMagic campaigns, which means that you added the tracking code to your website or funnel or uh, blog or whatever you have, whatever you want to track, and you created a link for that, okay? If you haven't, make sure to check out my video on how to set up ClickMagic campaigns. It's going to be a little circle up above at the top of this video. It's going to pop up from your right. Check that video out because you can't do this without doing that first. That being said, let's jump straight in and let's create our postback URL. ClickBank is a little different when it comes to creating postbacks. ClickBank is the only network that is a little bit different. So the steps we will be taking here are a little different from what you will see for other networks. But I'll show you how to do it anyway. So we're going to click on Log into your ClickBank account, click on Vendor Settings over here, click on My Site, scroll to the bottom, and click on this Advanced Tools. So click Edit right over here. And we have to enter our secret key and post back URL. Now, you might see a screen that looks a little bit different. You might have an option that says Request Access. You want to click on that Request Access and say Yes to all the drop down options that you see there. You're going to see about five to 10 questions that are going to ask you something, and you have to say yes or no. Select the drop down, select yes, and select yes. Okay, and uh, select save changes, accept. And you're going to come to a screen that looks something like this. So the first thing we have to do is enter a secret key. Okay, so a secret key is a number that is, is a 16 character string of letters or numbers that you come up with. Okay. Nobody gives it to you. You come up with it, make it whatever you want to. It has to be 16 characters and it has to be uppercase letters and or numbers. So I'm going to make it change me, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is 16 characters in total, letters and or numbers. Either one is fine. You can have all letters, you can have all numbers. Just make sure the uh, no letters are all uppercase, okay? Once you do that, we're gonna copy this, go back into Click Magic, click on the little profile icon and click on Settings here. And you might see something that looks like this. Select the ClickBank tab and paste the key here and click Update Settings. And what this is going to do is it's going to integrate Click Magic and ClickBank together, okay? It's gonna integrate them so that you can be able to track sales, okay? So once you do that, we're done on this end. Let's go back here. We have to enter a no, an instant notification URL. What is that? That is a postback URL that's going to tell ClickBank where to send the sale to. So once a sale comes in, where do we send it? Okay. And the way we get that, it's going to be different for everyone. You have to click on ClickMagic account settings, go to tools, go to postback URLs and postback URL list. Now here's what I meant by saying ClickBank is different they have their separate instructions here, okay? So everyone else, for everyone else, you would just copy it, for example, for Affluent and paste it there. For ClickBank, you're gonna select Affiliate and you're gonna click See Instructions here. And you're gonna scroll down here and keep on scrolling, okay? So this is everything we've done so far. And here is that screen I was telling you about where you had to request access and say yes to these seven questions, okay? And then save changes. But we're gonna keep scrolling down, scroll down and take this link. Now, the reason why I asked you to go here specifically is because this ID will differ for you, okay? This is my ID. Yours is going to be different depending on your account, okay? So this is my ID, so I'm going to copy this, copy that, go back here and paste it here, okay? Now, this ID stands for my account ID. This CB stands for ClickBank Integration. This S stands for sale. You will be able to track sales. Uh, API stands for, I have no idea, it's just an integration, okay? It's an integration feature. Um, don't click test yet, click save changes, okay? So just click save changes, scroll back down, click edit, and now you have to verify it. So make sure it's on the latest version. As of making this video, it's version 7.0. Might be different for you but click test IPN and click save changes. Make sure it's verified, click save changes. If it doesn't say verified, that means there was a mistake. Either in the secret key is not the same in your ClickBank and ClickMagic accounts, or this ID is not correct. Double check both of them, okay? Click save changes. 
and we're pretty much good to go here, okay? So we've added the post back URL. So now when a sale comes in, Click uh, Bank is going to attribute the sale to Click Magic. However, it doesn't know which specific project to attribute the sale to yet. So it knows to attribute it to Click Magic, but it doesn't know where. So we have to add that last part. So what we're going to do is let's scroll back up here. Let's head over into Campaigns. Let's click on this little wrench icon and click on Affiliate Link Builder. We're going to select ClickBank from this drop down here. We're going to say Affiliate. If you're an affiliate, you'll say Vendor if you're a vendor. So most of us are affiliates. We'll click that. And now we have to enter our affiliate link here. Now we're promoting a custom keto product. So let's quickly go back here into Marketplace and grab that link. I completely forgot to get it. So let's say Custom Keto. And this is the offer we're promoting. So I'll click on Promote. I will click on Generate Hop Link. I'm going to copy this link, okay? So your affiliate link, we we'll close out of that. Let's go back into Click Magic, and we're gonna paste this right here. And we'll click Generate New Link, and Click Magic automatically adds this to the end of your link. Now notice how it says ampersand, and over here it gives us question mark. Why is that? So if your link already contains a question mark, then you cannot use another question mark. You have to use ampersand. But if your link does not contain a question mark, then you would use question mark. So for example, if I click this again, it's not going to do anything because this is here. But for example, let's say we had something like this. Let's say we had and PID equals, and now we click generate new link. And now it's going to have an ampersand because we already have a question mark here, right? But in this case, we don't have anything. So if we click generate new link, it's going to give us a question mark. Okay, so keep that in mind because your link might be different. You might already have a question mark in your link. And if you do, you don't put a question mark, you use ampersand. So use this builder just to be safe, okay? Uh, if you're not sure. So next, we're gonna click on copy to clipboard. Let's go to our say our thank you page here. And for this button, let's suppose we wanna take people to our affiliate product. We're gonna go to URL, and we're gonna paste that right here with the link. So now what's gonna happen, assuming you have the click magic code added, right? I have the click magic code added here. Make sure it's added to every page. Again, can't stress that enough. Now, when someone goes from your landing page to the thank you page, to the affiliate offer, to this offer, you will be able to see sales, okay? And just to show you roughly what this is going to look like, if we click on this landing page link and we enter our name and email and all that good stuff. So as you can see here at the bottom, it says the affiliate link will be going to, let's click on get started and we're taken to this page. Now I suggest you use a tool called click uh, redirect path. So just type in redirect path Chrome extension and download it because it will allow you to check things like that. So if you recall, we added this in square brackets, right? CMC VID, okay? So that will be replaced by a number that will be sent over to ClickBank to track our sales. So let's head over here and let's use this redirect path to see if that number was generated. I'm gonna click here. We click on this first option here and we see it say TID equals boom and then it has a number, okay? So instead of being in square brackets saying CMC underscore VID, now it gives us an exact number that will allow us to track our sales. So once someone buys, ClickBank will send this number back to ClickMagic to attribute it to the correct project. And that is how we will see sales here in campaigns. If we go back to campaigns, you're gonna see a sale right over there if you set everything up exactly as I show you in this video. But that is it. That is how you set up uh, post back URL with ClickMagic campaigns for ClickBank. I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if I missed something or if you want me to make a video on something or expand on something or let me know if this video was helpful for you. Let me know if it helped you so I can keep making content like this so I know if it benefits somebody or not, all right? That being said, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, tutorials. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.